there any way you can uh, stabilize the camera? Like, put it like in something? something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I could. I'm getting uh, epilepsy over here. <laughs> you getting seasick? Here, let me, I'll just spin around. Hey, you. Thank you for tuning in. This is Judah, and it's kind of an extended version of Friday with Friends today, as we are extending it to multiple days, maybe weeks, maybe years, maybe minutes. We'll see how well this goes. <laughs> All right, so with me today is my good friend, good friend for a long time, uh, Ford Suits. <laughs> I, I know him so well. Hey, how's it going? Greetings. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm wearing an Amumu hat. He's the sad mummy from League of Legends. He's the jungler tank mage. Ah, so, nerd alert. Wow. Right, I got this in India. It was given to me by really? this, uh, like one of the, the main uh, uh, company. Like he, uh, he runs one of these uh, League of Legends sports teams. He does Dota, too. He's got his Dota team. Ah. He's got, I think he's got a CSGO team as well, so... He was wearing this. He was wearing this hat, or he had one like this. I was like, "Where'd you get this? I got one right here." And he just gave it to you. He just gave it to me. It was so great. I don't know. I, I told you before. One of the uh, most intellectual but best communicators of your thoughts uh, of any of any of the people I know. Like you, when you get on, you are like on. And I, I saw well, that. I'm on something. That's. <laughs> Well, uh, I saw a clip, for, uh, that recent clip from your recent podcast. Is that that thing I posted today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a five-minute clip on right. um, intellectual property. Right. Genius. I loved it. Oh, thanks. So basically, it was about um, physical property, right? I, I liked your analogy of having something in a field. If you have some... Oh, and, and you tied it in with Rogue One. One, yeah. yeah. And how you loved how they had... Well, t t t tell me a little bit about it again. So when I was watching the movie, I was like kind of I kind of had that suspension of disbelief that I think everyone has kind of had at some point if they think in depth about Star Wars which is why would they have this uh, Death Star plans like first of all why would they have them right. and the, and the music, movie kind of explains that but then when you get there and we see where they have them right. like it's so inaccessible like why would you have this little machine that you actually have to be like trained to pilot to access this cassette that's right. up on the back somewhere. Other than an <laughs> homage to George Lucas's uh, movie HTX or whatever it's called. THX. THX, THX. I, didn't, yeah. I actually haven't seen the real version. I, I yeah. saw his student film version. Okay, all right. But design-wise, yeah, there's a lot of George Lucas in this. Yeah. Um, but uh, then it just hit me. I was like, oh, of course. It's because, uh, you know, every sort of giant empire has to have bureaucracy. It has to have a chain of command, it doesn't want access. That's the point of an empire. An empire is all about restricting access. It's all about keeping that, that you know, keeping yeah. people where they need to be. Yeah. So in order to get there, you have to go to this crazy planet out in the middle of nowhere, and you have to go into this tower, and you literally, like, have to send the heights, you know, the mm -hmm. Tower of Babel to get to the information. Yeah. Um, and so that just, it just struck me as odd because... People in our governments, in the entertainment industry, want to have it like that. Yes. They want to say, we own all this property. Well, okay. But they, well, to, but they don't restrict it like that. They exactly. Just leave it out there for everyone to get to. Because once they put it on the internet, I liked your point, once they put it on the internet, it's fair game. Okay, so that brings me, like, if you want to hear the, more about that, you're going to have to tune in to uh, Ford's podcast, soon to be online. Uh, for or you just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, subscribe to you, uh, okay. the Surfing Violinist. Oh, I can't believe I even I didn't even mention the Surfing Violinist. Uh, so YouTube.com backslash the Surfing Violinist. Where what it connected for me when I heard it talking about Star Wars and Empire, current events. Do you think that's why? Because often, like, just I mean, other than pure incompetence, do you think that's why? You think it's somewhat of a genius for government to keep their technology so uh, unupdated, so behind the times? Yeah, so when we were in India, there were these uh, barricades that the police would set up. And I wish I had the exact text in front of me right now. I mean, I've, I've recorded this on the Internet at some point. 
Um, but it says something like, in English, it mm. says, uh, sure, we slow you down, but we do our, but we try to keep criminals from getting away or something like that. So it's an admission of failure from the beginning. You know, it's like, and at least that's honest admission. Of yeah. Failure. Whereas I think most bureaucracy, I mean, you think about the TSA, like whenever you fly. Yeah. Um, most bureaucracy never admits the failure from the beginning, but it's it's pretty much basically we are going to penalize everyone who's following the rules, mm. and the people who are going to break them. We're we're just oh well. We're at least we're it's a it's it's an insurance move. Right. It's it's, it's designed with lawyers and insurance companies in mind. It's not designed with citizens. In mind. Yeah. I think a government, a lumbering system, you know, a, a giant. Uh, empire can only think in terms of, and that's why that's why Lucas's vision was so great. Mm. You get this enormous thing. Yes, it's so incredibly powerful. Uh, it can blow up a planet, but the problem is it's lumbering. Yeah. It, a small one man fighter can take it out. Yeah. Like that's the idea of freedom. You know, that's the right. idea of individualism. Ah, so, yeah. People. Okay, so that so so I guess the the question for me is if Google takes over government, if Google becomes our government, which right. I don't know if it will, but um, I mean they're so intertwined in the process now, and if they gain and, and you know how it is that if if they cut you off, it's it's a terrible feeling. You're up right. crap creek without a without a paddle. Right. So Matt, so I mean they already have so much power. Uh, if they take over, so does that. Um, so does that mean we all have to become hackers now, or what? Well, you know, I don't know. I think some a lot of these sites have made it possible for us to become hackers culturally without being hackers technologically, you know? I mean, what do you mean? So uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, like, basically they've allowed us to hack the news. Mm. Like, you know, all this little allegation about Russian hacking. Well, it's, mm. just, it's just them pitching a fit because yeah. they don't have control anymore. Right. Um, you know, you can go to Sexy Phil on YouTube, and he's going to give you better analysis. I mean, seriously, he's a gossip columnist. That's what Sexy Phil is. He's a gossip columnist for the 21st century, yeah. and he gives more intelligent critique yeah. of the presidential debates, yeah. of, you know, fake news, yeah. of, you know, political conspiracy. I love and, how you call him <laughs> Sexy Phil. Yeah, Philip DeFranco. Uh, it was S-X-E, Phil. It wasn't right. like... <laughs> <laughs> Phil DeFranco, I've him sexy Phil. I've source fed, you know. <laughs> we have the avenues now of, of conversation, connection. And, that, and that's what the internet is. It's supposed to be, you know, connect individuals connecting with individuals. Yeah. You know, and I, I think DARPA, you know, I think the government, the military would have would have maybe liked them like, no, we can't let them have this power. <laughs> to turn into. Um, huh. But but this is this. It, it, this is great, you know, and, yeah. I, and in my in my video, I mentioned that tech companies are guilty of this sort of proprietary way of dealing with yeah. things too, but to a lesser extent than Hollywood or the government or or music industry, right? You know, far less extent, right? Because you I, can't use anything that any of them do, right? Like yeah. uh, without some sort of like you know, act of Congress or a ton of money or you know whatever. Right. That's true. Well, I think it's fantastic insight, and I appreciate your uh, your view on that. And sort of, uh, you, you're able to pick it apart so well, and uh, I really appreciate that about you. So, uh, this concludes this portion of uh, fr uh, what's it called? My own show. <laughs> Friday with friends. I uh, know. I just changed it. It's uh, no, yeah, it's Friday with friends. <laughs> Hosted by. Uh, so uh, we thank you for. Tuning in, check out uh, Philip DeFranco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Check out the surfing violinist. He's got great uh, videos on there, all about India, but also funny and informative stuff. And he's going to have a lot more coming up uh, with as he uh, gets more into his creative uh, juices going with, um, with the new podcast. That's right. And who knows, this might not actually get published for another two weeks, so <laughs> you might be able to get it right now. <laughs> it might be ready to go. <laughs> All right.